Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, I just had to get to this video because my box of stuff was just getting too cramped. Uh, <clears throat> first off, uh, this haul is from probably the last couple weeks and I wanted to do this real quick. Um, all these are dollar books. I went to a place that finally had a dollar bin and this is what I came up with. Uh, these are two copies of issue one of uh, the series Witches. Thought that was worth picking up. Uh, two copies of issue one of the series Beauty. Uh, this here is issue three, variant cover of Beauty. Um, I managed to pick up kind of a back half run of the series Trees, which is a series by Warren Ellis. Uh, just something that I, I hadn't picked up and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and yeah, that series uh, this here I think that's a variant for issue 2 of Lazarus a series by Greg Rucka uh, I really like all of Rucka's stuff I just, I just didn't have Lazarus so Figured it was time to turn around and pick that up. Issue 6, uh, really cool cover. I like the detail there. On the handle. Uh, issue 11. <clears throat> uh, now these are just Batgirls. And I'm not entirely sure who's doing the cover art on this. But I primarily got them for... Uh, for that, for the cover art, um, I just, I don't know, these are some really cool covers, issue 32, uh, a couple, two cover, two copies of that cover, uh, a few copies of this one, 33, The Battle for Gotham Begins, there, a couple, and like I said, all these were a buck. This is nice, the, the 34, the selfie cover, selfie variant. Uh, one of the better selfie <laughs> covers, I guess. I don't know, I only, I only got that one, really. Uh, 34, another great action cover, Batgirl. Uh, this here is the monster uh, variant, issue 35. Uh, last issue variant of Catwoman, issue 52. Uh, same here with the uh, Green Lantern, issue 52. And this one here, 51, which that is the John Romita Jr. variant. Sorry for going out of focus. I forgot who did the cover on this. It says DM. Um... That was Green Lantern 50, Green Lantern 49, cool white cover, Green Lantern 38, Psychedelic issue 36, uh, this here, the Roller Derby cover 39, it was the Harley, Harley Quinn variant. Uh, Green Lantern Corps, 33, Batman John Stewart cover. <laughs> this is kind of cool. This is the, the rub and smell spectacular. Hmm. All right. Uh, Harley Quinn holiday special. That's special. Convergence, first cover. Looks kind of Hughesian, but it's not. And uh, then some run of Wonder Woman, the back half, uh, 41, 42. These are all standard covers, 43. Jumps to Cheetah, 47. And 50. Also this one, this cool uh, Romita, John Romita variant for 51. Really like that cover. All for a buck. Bam! Last issue there, variant. 
That's really cool. Got that one there. Another copy of that I have. This uh, Sensation Run. Uh, not only is this Adam Hughes cover obviously uh, pretty cool, but if you dig through, there's actually some really cool covers in this uh, series. This here is a really nice Jenny Friesen cover, uh, issue 17. That's pretty nice. Okay, moving on. Uh, <clears throat> Vertigo has this great series here, Savage Things. Really been into that. Um, can't think of many other Vertigo books though that I'm I'm holding down right now. Uh, real quick, uh, the new Francis Manipole 12 Batgirl. Some great covers he's had on this run. Uh, B cover Superman 25. This here is the Walmart price variant uh, or the Walmart three pack because it has no price up there in the corner. But uh, I picked that up. Uh, thanks, uh, shout out to Bad Avenger, like I said, for uh, hipping me to these Aquaman uh, covers, the B covers, and the series in general. But uh, starting here with War, and then uh, managed to find uh, two copies of the issue 25. This is the B cover. Um, I, everyone goes on about the A cover, which uh, obviously that's really cool. It's black cover. He's got the long hair and really cool stance, but uh, I don't know. I still kind of like this B cover. <laughs> Plus, I haven't <laughs> I haven't been able to find the A cover issue 25. Oh, speaking of covers, though, bam! This cover is awesome, and I've seen a few people holding this up and uh, telling people, "Hey, better find them while you can." So that's a killer cover. Action. Um, most people talk about how Action's a great series and delivers. A couple back issues of Batgirl 3, issue 5. It's a really cool perspective here. And the standard uh, jokes and riddles. Uh, that's the A cover. And then, of course, everyone talks about that B cover with the Poison Ivy. Uh, I only got the B cover on this issue 27. I don't know, I just like that Batman shot there. That was good. Uh, Detective, of course. I've been picking this up. Uh, great all-around team book. I want to go back. Oh, man, this is issue 5. But uh, I want to go back at last issue, and I want to find and get that, uh, that Shiva cover. Uh, I don't know why, but I missed getting that one uh, I'm gonna have to go back and pick that up flash another series there issue 26 uh, here's your standard Cho covers for Harley Quinn been liking those finally actually completed that whole Cho run I have all the, the covers now and then I can't wait for this connecting cover look at the detail on that uh, that cape and all that stuff. Man, that's going to be cool when that comes. Uh, Super Sons, yeah. Been really liking that series. That's the Nguyen cover, issue 6. Turns out I'm actually miss missing an issue, issue 4. Uh, Patriotic, really quintessential Superman cover here, issue 26, B cover. And uh, I did manage to find two copies. They're in there. Of this uh, Sankovich Trinity number 11. Boom! Sketch cover. Very nice. And then, of course, this here. Everyone's been talking about uh, Dark Days as being one of the best reads. Uh, obviously, Snyder. Pretty cool. Alright. Moving on, moving on. Marvel. Uh, fantastic uh, reprint there. Amazing Fantasy. Uh, these are part of that dollar dollar run amazing spidey special and the annual amazing spider-man bianchi cover that was cool uh managed to pick this up the art adams avengers prime uh i think this is a one in ten but uh with hella coming up in this new ragnarok thor movie i figured that might be a cool pickup 
Uh, real great detail on that. Oh, man. Let me tell you. San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Mark Brooks, Virgin cover of Astonishing X-Men number one. I could just keep the video right on this for a long time, but, uh, but I got to move on. Uh, X-Men, Astonishing X-Men speaking of, this is the totally awesome 1 in 50. That's a wonderful cover. Uh, I didn't get many of the Jim Lee card covers, but definitely had to pick up the Deadpool one. That looks sweet. Another uh, 1 in 25-er here, uh, Doctor Strange. I don't know, I just this cover just really spoke to me and I, I had to pick it up. And this one here, uh, issue part four, issue 21 of Totally Awesome, where they start talking about the Wolver Hulk uh, weapons of mass destruction tie-in. <clears throat> Speaking of, a couple back issues that I also picked up. The Foil Death of Wolverine, number one, and number three. I found the whole run, but the other two were kind of kinked up. This was a great uh, deal. I got this one actually cheap. Got it for a buck. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Black Bolt. I'm really sad I haven't been keeping up on the Black Bolt variants. That Paul Pope issue one and uh, the variant for this number three, I think, were awesome. Uh, issue 22, Daredevil. Haven't really been buying Daredevil, but the Diodato cover was enough to uh, push it over the edge this week. Uh, more Hulk. That's been really good now that she done hulked out. Uh, this one here, this leading up into this whole Doom uh, story, I, I, I kind of picked up this issue uh, as well. Jessica Jones, really cool uh, graffiti cover, I guess. That's a variant. And I also got the Mac cover as well, because I've been getting those for Jessica Jones. Uh, someone had 25% off on new issues, so I went and picked up Secret Empire. The Soriano, so Andrea Sorrentino, sorry, sorry. Uh, also caught up on my Deadpool and Spider-Man, 18 and 19. Um, Star Wars, 33. Uh, the Citadel story just ended, and uh, I don't know. I just kept up on Star Wars. Second copy of Thor 20, the War Thor, and 21. That was actually a pretty cool story. I read that already. So, if you're into that, check that out. Uh, back issue of All New Wolverine. Kind of cool shredded cover there. And let's see. X Men Blue. Uh, Mary Jane variant. I don't know. I just I, I got a good price on this. And uh, I figured I'd pick it up. I, I think, other than the Thor 20. Mary Jane, this is the only other one I got. And then, of course, another Brooks cover. Uh, some of you have seen this. X-Men Legacy 262. Mark Brooks knocking it out. Uh, and then finally, the stack. This is all of the independent and image stuff. Uh, real cool uh, store. Actually flipped me this ga uh, ash can gasolina for free. That was very cool. Full run of that series. That's been always pretty fun. Uh, keeping up on Royal City. Uh, Jim Mafood, the Girl Scouts. That was just a crazy cover. Good series though, if you read it. Um, Winnebago Graveyard 2. A lot of people... Uh, touting that is a pretty cool series this was kind of thick generation gone uh, you know image new book had to pick it up kill the minotaur number two all over that book there was such a cool san diego comic-con uh, special dinner exclusive cover on that 
It almost looks like a movie poster of the issue one. Too bad I missed it. Descender. It's a new story arc for that series. I have a full run of that now. Heartthrobs, just a volume two series here. You know, it's a, it's a fun book. Uh, new Walking Dead. Uh, some people got multiple copies of that. I think that was supposed to be a key-ish story issue. Uh, Samaritan, Veritas. Shout out to my friend Matt Hawkins. And keeping up with Rat Queens. Extremity. The best series right here. Stray Bullets. Still going strong. Uh, had to pick up on this issue 2 Hysteria. Uh, still into Black Cloud. Still full run of that series. Violent Love, number 6, I think that's 6. Killer Be Killed, also up on that run. Deadly Class, full run of that. This is a, this is a fun book. Rock Candy Mountain. Uh, <laughs> you should see that one. They go to jail and the guy breaks out. Uh, awesome series that I've been reading. I just like it. I like the tone. I like the art inside. So much so. Double down. But uh, deals with uh, the notion or idea of trafficking. But hey you can find it check it out jazz maynard <clears throat> big fan of terry moore obviously keeping up on his series motor girl um it came late to animosity but man i've managed to pick everything up on that that's still been a good series regular cover to jimmy's bastards and great brad street cover here tim brad street knocking it out on pestilence issue three and Unholy Grail. Uh, that's a cool cover. I didn't see many show that particular cover. World Reader from Aftershock. Another one, issue four. That's an interesting series. Where she tries to talk to all the... All the dying and dead worlds. Killbox. The original run of the four on that I have. And this is starting the next volume called Killbox Chicago. Don't know how I ended up with that, but there you go. Lola XO XO number one. Uh, Cal Exit, that's a good one. Particularly since I live in California. Uh, this thing was gigantically thick, uh, but I did manage to pick up the issue one of Last Song. Uh, a black and white. Like I said, right up my alley. I love the indie black and white stuff. And there's nothing there. That series is continuing on. Issue 3 from Black Mask. Managed to pick up a copy of the Train 8. 1 and 3 zombie uh, series. Still up on God Shaper. That's, a, that's interesting. Once again, me and my variant cover to Grass Kings. Totally dig this. All these variants. Someone's getting done in on the cover of everyone. It's awesome. Uh, Sisters of Sorrow. So if you've seen some people show in this one. Boom series about nuns going out and protecting the, the hood at night, I guess. And I managed to get the 1 in 5 black cover on that. Some people totally missed that. Great cover. Uh, Unsound. Cullen Bunn. Wow, what a series. That's in the issue two, and it's just already knocking it out. Uh, Briggs Land, yep, like that. First series, Department uh, H. Richard Corbin, Shadows of the Grave. Normally I was buying the, the odd covers, but I went ahead with the, the regular A cover on this Shaolin, because swinging dogs with knives, <laughs> you had me. I was there. Uh, Freeway Fighter. Uh, it's a cool series. Aberatu by Lions Forge. Uh, 
very cool imprint now hard case from Titan Normandy Gold I got Rapture Britannia Secret Wars number one and then last but not least at this store this goes back to those dollar finds I managed to find uh, whatever spawns they had and I picked them up some cool covers all for a buck god can't pass it up there you go and then of course rounding out the black and white jock 250 and two copies of the 250 Scotty Young well there you go that's the haul I had to get rid of that peace out guys